Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What is SDLC? What software development methodologies do you know? We are going to check ISTQB theory and talk in human language after. Let's begin. Let's start with the ISTQB explanation. Currently, ISTQB is the leading global certification scheme in the field of software testing. And, when we'll talk formally, we'll use their syllabus and the glossary as references. A link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. According to the ISTQB glossary, the software development lifecycle is the activities performed at each stage in software development and how they relate to one another logically and chronologically. It is a good definition. And we propose an alternative one, which is longer but easier to remember in our opinion. Software development is the process of creating and maintaining software products. It includes various SDLC activities and processes from the idea of the product to the product's end of life. You can stop the video and read it one more time. The gray part is an example of the activities. What we want to highlight in scope of our definition is Software products are not different from real-life products. Everybody used to have a phone at home, or used compact discs, CD, or even a floppy disk. It won't be easy to find those now. The same about browsers, operating systems, even computer games. All of this started with an idea. Then had time to shine. And then were removed from the market entirely. Or at least are not as popular as they were. All products have a similar life cycle. And you can go with these definitions or find any other on the internet. Mostly people ask this question just to ask the next follow-up question. What software development methodologies do you know? And you can go with names in random order like Waterfall, Kanban, V-Model, Scrum. Or even say something like XP, Spiral and RUP but we prefer to have some logic behind this. Some schema, classification, or sorting. Let's Google and check what the people say. There is no anonymous decision. Each tester or instructor creates own schema. We can see a lot of variants, and you can go with any of those, as far as you like it and can defeat your opinion with rational arguments. We like the ISTQB classification. Unfortunately, there are no tablets or diagrams in the syllabus. But if you read it attentively, you'll find out that there are two main SDLC categories they highlight. Sequential development models, iterative and incremental development models. And these two fit perfectly in our schema. The first one is sequential, and two models in our list are related to that the waterfall model and V model. And the rest of the models, rational unified process, spiral, scrum and others are iterative and incremental models. So the schema looks like this, simple and understandable. You probably wonder what is the difference between sequential and iterative incremental models, but this discussion is for another video. In this video, we just want to build a simple and clear schema. And people who are already familiar with the SDLC models wonder what to do with these three models, Scrum, Kanban, and XP. First of all, we are not sure if Kanban and XP are iterative. They are incremental, that's for sure. But if they are iterative, it's debatable. For now, we'll leave them as is. Maybe later we'll update that part of the schema. More important is that all three of them are Agile methodologies, and we didn't know how to illustrate it properly, so we decided to draw schema this way. Just add Agile on the other side. So the entire schema looks like this. We have two sequential models, Waterfall and V model. Then we have five iterative and incremental models, and two of them, Kanban and XP, are incremental but not as obviously iterative as Scrum. But all three, Scrum, Kanban, and XP, are Agile methodologies. 
The last thing we wanted to highlight is these four models are Waterfall, V Model, Scrum, and Kanban. These are the most popular and understandable methodologies. All of them have very specific characteristics, and we are going to talk about those in a separate video. You can pause the video and check the schema one more time. Or stop the video and check the definition one more time. Software development lifecycle is a huge topic, and we'll have a lot of videos and articles related to it. But in the scope of this video, we just wanted to share this small definition and to share the schema of the SDLC models. And this is our answer to the question, what is SDLC? What software development methodologies do you know?